Good morning. Good morning. Even after very, very energizing and uh, thought-provoking address by all the the experts from the industry, um, I still see a lake of energy sitting here. <laughs> so we need to first have energy here, and then only we can talk about the energy at our plant location. Uh, so uh, the the CIA and Wall Street, all the CEOs and also um, the friends sitting in this hall. Honestly, um, I don't think that I can do justice in talking about the technology here because. Um, uh, I don't understand too much on the technology part of the industry uh, and lot has been talked about uh, the technology by Anil Kumarji, Vali Raj and uh, particularly Ashok Kumarji. In fact, uh, I only learn from all these people and uh, the whole purpose of my attending these sessions are uh, to some extent learning from all of you people. Uh, the theme, very apt theme of uh, this particular session or this uh, paper tag which is 16th um, Making Indian paper industry as world class To my mind uh, rightly said by uh, Vadi Raj that what is world class and the first thing uh, what comes in our mind is that when we talk about the word classes, size and scale and all other things. To my mind, uh, the basic issue, all of us sitting here and outside, all the stakeholders involved in the industry, we need to start thinking about the word class mindset. Our mindset is still, I mean, I would say that most of um, the stakeholders and most of the people involved in the industry, we still think in, maybe I would say that um, the late 19th centuries or early 20th century, we, we don't have thinking of a world class industry. So first and foremost thing that we need to do the right kind of introspection and start thinking that uh, we think about this industry as a world class industry. And honestly, at most of the time, when we talk about the world class, even some kind of a mindset, uh, immediately we start thinking about the technology. It's not more about the technology. It is more about our, our thought process about the business and manufacturing business and the selling business. Have we ever thought about the world class thought process or a customer centricity in our industry? I would say zero. We have no thought about the customer. Honestly, even if we think today, all of the companies we may be talking about in our vision statement, our mission statement, that customer obsession, customer centricity, they are all most of the time they are for the lip service. We are not truly the customer centric industry. How do we become world class if we are not customer centric? So we need to think about this and we need to start practicing about it that truly we become the customer centric industry then only our roadmap for the world class paper industry will start the, the beginning should be the, the customer centricity I would say that the end is technology the beginning should be the, the, the customer centricity whatever is the customer is asking whatever is the customer expectation is there that should be met by the technology not that we put up the best of plant and still think about our own manufacturing see in fact in this world of this connected world if we don't start thinking about the other stakeholders we will be still missing the our our, our uh, the quote or the theme of being the world class to what extent are we thinking about our vendors 
most of the time we start arm twisting our vendors most of the time is it a right thing i mean one way we call them the partner in our business where is that partnership we become truly the transactional people when we handle our vendors so we need to start thinking differently what extent we treat our vendors are we treating them as a true partners so this is also one question mark i am only raising this question because see that talking about the technology is fine but unless we talk all these softer issues and ideological issues we may not become the world class about the other stakeholders again i was thinking that um, to what extent we still become the compliant on the regulatory issues we still talk about managing the regulatory norms and managing the regulatory issues this will not work we need to be far more or far beyond the regulatory frameworks so that we don't destroy the environment already the perception of the industry is so bad and top of it if we don't work in this area it will be an issue in time to come in fact um, the expectation from the industry is totally different today the, the the young children and the young people because already the messaging and the perception is created in such a way that we all the time become defensive no 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 we don't destroy the environment we don't destroy this and i mean we are very very environment friendly but these are all defensive uh, narratives so to some extent we need to start demonstrating that we are very very responsible manufacturing industry and we don't destroy the environment um vadiraj also spoke and ashok ji spoke about the plantation in fact in my own way i have been talking in the industry and uh, honestly i am new to the industry still i would say that i am 10 11 year old in the industry and um, the first thing i understood and uh, this has been the training given to me and uh, my own thought process is that unless we create a kind of a raw material security it is going to be a very very difficult time for the industry and i must say that 10 years back we took up this and pers- particularly i personally took up this in the jk paper as a personal target that the plantation we must create a right kind of infrastructure and also the right kind of a thought process that we do much more than what we need and from last 8 years our average plantation is every year more than 40000 acre every year this has been our performance and we have taken up now that the target should be 50000 acre we may not need but still we have thought that unless we do this it is going to be a difficult time for all of us so i mean this has been requested i have been requesting in the ipma forum all the time there are there are people those who are doing good work but still there are many players that are not doing at all and ultimately the whole industry will suffer we have seen the year 13 14 and we suffered very badly and ultimately we were importing wood we were importing wood chips do we need that kind of a scenario ultimately unless we do this is going to be very difficult and we are talking about the world class what to talk about the world class the raw material cost for those people those who are world class their raw material costs wood cost is not more than 60 dollar a ton and what are we talking here is not going to be less than 100 dollar minimum how can you be the world class unless you are competitive and how can you be competitive unless you do your own raw material security so the raw material is a major concern and all the people should start working on this and to what extent we take care of the farmers as rightly said that we only distribute the sapling no it will not be it will not be the right thing we need to handhold the farmers we need to work with the farmers so that they make a reasonable money out of this 
at one point of time i was saying and i was uh, talking to our industry player that we should not reduce the raw material cost to an extent that the farmer is disincentivized to do the plantation there should be a decent return to the farmers in fact uh, i must say that we have been working very closely with the farming community and um, we have appointed many more scientists in the plantation in our area to my mind today the jk paper will have the the the, the strongest team and the largest team or the biggest team in the plantation area this is what we have done over a period of time today we have the clones which are high maturity short duration clone i mean we can harvest a, some kind of a species in less than 2 years and this will provide the farmer a right kind of a income and opportunity and that is the reason that i mean to some extent at this point of time unless the other people destroy my raw material belt we are very very well protected but yes i know that all the other people will be poaching that area but we will still continue to do the plantation in our own area you ask this question i must say that we are wood and both carbon positive today our consumption fossil fuel consumption we have reduced to a drastically lower and uh, in fact our target the biofuel or the non fossil fuel the renewable today we are at 60% and in next two years time we are going to be more than 70% this is what the target we have taken our own that how do we increase our renewable uh, the, the the energy and reduce the fossil fuel so i mean we will have to do it in time to come and in fact the world class rightly in a very very subtle manner um, vadira starts this point and when we talk about the mindset the mindset is where it is the the right kind of a people do we have the right kind of a talent and are we in position to attract the talent to my mind still again we don't have the right kind of a perception of the industry so we are not able to attract the good talent at the retaining the talent is the second question but first the attracting the talent is also a question mark today our still mindset is that how can we afford that this kind of a salary to the people that question will be irrelevant if there is a market if uh, there is a value for for the right kind of people we will have to jolly well pay to it and um, i mean they will create value so please think on this that the right kind of engineers will not be able to attract if we are only talking about 5 lakh 6 lakh 7 lakh no we will have to pay the competitive salary to the right kind of a people and they will create value so my suggestion to is again this is also a mindset change so we need to change this mindset also we need to attract and then we need to re- retain them we need to give them the rewarding careers so that they retain and uh, they 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 work for us um vadiraj talked about this and i must say that um the digital he talked and in fact um, itc did a great work on this digital and in fact uh, in our own group companies uh, two years back uh, we took up this on a digital transformation journey and uh, two years back in our group presentation i was making my presentation as jk paper because we have tire business we have cement business we have auto component business and other businesses and two years back i said jk paper is far behind than our own other businesses in our group companies and that time i said that in two years time i should be at par or ahead of the other businesses and i am happy to share with you that the fiki organized uh, the industry 4.0 competition and there were 100 participants the jk paper unit raigada was one of them we were in the first round selected for the on site audit thereafter we were top 10 thereafter we were in top 5 and very happy to say that we were number 1 as industry 4.0 in the country and there was a platinum award given to us by the minister so this is what the journey is and we need to do it and this is also a mindset change
how can we be the world class if we still follow the same sort of the logbook and uh, the way we monitor our processes the way we control our processes no it will not work all the technology and the people are sitting here i must say that the technology is not the machine the machines are just one part of the technology technology is the thought process we need to start thinking about that how do we how do we see this industry 10 year 15 year 20 year down the line and this is what is 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 the one thing which will make us world class uh, with this i think uh, i have i have uh, uh, thought on this and this is what I wanted to share but um, one or two more thing um, certainly the innovation which we have been talking most of the time but again the innovation in the processes is far more critical because the innovation in the technology is one part it should happen but at the same time innovation in the other manufacturing processes should and the smaller smaller processes should also happen and um, we have a good number of people only thing is that we need to encourage them to contribute uh, the industry is very attractive I would still say that industry is very attractive because India is going to still remain the fastest growing paper market and when the and the paper market is a growing market and if it is attractive market certainly it will attract the other people also and when the other people will come here we will have to be competitive and we need to be uh, understand and we need to understand our own strength area and work on some uh, the weak spots and uh, that only it will make us competitive i would say that um, thank you very much and all the best wishes for for this conference